First contract picking it up, Apache Tour. Apache Tour may have just beaten first contract, it's tight. Third eye of an ice man, Shark is gold, and then came Topsy Taffy. Congo Kid, Pretty Evelyn, and Master Dixie, one of the last. Camera call for tight one. Heather will sit for race four. Ready, racing. Missing it was Parlor Royal. Slowly away, Impulsive Boy. non peril Guitar Magic came out as one. And Witch Melody has buckled shortly after. He's broken Witch Melody. He's thrown away 15 metres early in the race as Guitar Magic goes to an early lead. By six metres to non peril Impulsive Boy, eight metres away third. Then Parlor Royal fourth and one off the fence. 15 metres to Empire Fella. Then Rhetoric, our Bren Ray Aberdeen. And Witch Melody is some 25 metres away and must be 100 metres off Guitar Magic down the straight they race the first time two circuits out it's Guitar Magic in front of, by eight metres to non peril four metres away on the outside is Parlor Royal without cover on its inside is Impulsive Boy then Empire Fellow he gets the cover now one by one early trailed up by Rhetoric our Bren Ray five metres away followed by Aberdeen and 15 metres away which Melody out of the straight they race towards the 1650 at the lap and three quarter and Guitar Magic on top he's over eight metres to non peril Four metres away, Impulsive Boy third. Lead time, 1-1.4. One, one Two metres away, Parler Royal sitting up fourth. Five metres to Empire Fella. Rhetoric now from third last pulls out three wide, followed by our Bren Ray. Aberdeen is second last and a break of 12 metres to which Melody. Towards the 1,300 metres they race, and the leader still is Guitar Magic over six metres to non peril. Rhetoric out three wide, travels up into third placing. He works up without cover now. Then Parler Royal, Impulsive Boy the rail. Our Bren Ray races four back on the inside of Empire Fella. Second last is Aberdeen and which Melody tacks up and now pulls to the outside three wide. Inside the thousand metres they race travelling down the straight. First quarter 31.1 it's Guitar Magic from the outset over six metres to on the outside Rhetoric. On the leaders back is Non Peril followed by Impulsive Boy then Parlor Royal. Which Melody he's out and running out three wide. He's still got a very big job from there followed by our Bren Ray Empire Fella and Aberdeen. He's last and pulling out three wide on the back of which melody out of the straight they race towards the 650 it's still guitar magic in front he's been running along from the outset he's still over six meters clear of on the outside rhetoric non peril third impulsive boy comes one off the rail our Bren Ray needs a run gone parlor royal which melody's under tremendous pressure then empire fella and aberdeen 450 meters out third quarter about to tick over second quarter 30.3 and guitar magic flying in front with a wing on every foot he comes to the 350 Guitar Magic, six metres in front of Impulsive Boy. Our Bren Ray looking a chance on the outside. He pulls to the outside third. Then non peril Empire Fella, which Melody gone from Aberdeen, Rhetoric and Parlor Royal. Third quarter in 29.8. He is flying at the 180. Guitar Magic in front. Three metres to Impulsive Boy. And our Bren Ray raising an effort on the outside. At the 100, Guitar Magic, two metres in front. Our Bren Ray storming home on the outside. Our Bren Ray doing a little bit too well for Guitar Magic over the concluding stages and our Bren Ray brings up a double for Jim O'Sullivan, wins by a metre two, Guitar Magic, Impulsive Boy third, a gap to Empire Fella then non peril Aberdeen, Rhetoric which Melody bungled the start blew his chance, he's run second last and tailed off was Parlor Royal and now they're ready for the running of race six at Penrith, here's Rod Fuller thanks for us, this is the feature, the Penrith Maiden Classic final Toad favourite is number eight Supreme Osti, 330 and 210 in front of One Love Love Bale, 390 and 160, and 3 Sir Lotto, 410 and 150. Last of the Greyhounds placed away, 10,000 to the winner. Final check, Miss Manchu completes the line with Pretty Rachel and they're all set. Green light, money up to the boxes for the Penrith Maiden Classic final. They're ready, racing. And beginning well with Smart Liz over second. Sulato moving up on the outside of Supreme Osti. Supreme Osti moves up to Smart Liz. Ran to the front. Can't get the inside. Now does so. Smart Liz was checked. Hidden Knight moves to second. Three away third. Sulato followed by Smart Liz. Two for the back. Love, love, bail. From Pretty Rachel. Miss Manchu well out of its ground. And last of all, Pearls of Tears. At the top turn, Supreme Osti has booted away. Supreme Osti five lengths in front. Hidden Knight second. Third, Sulato. But it's all Supreme Osti careering away. Supreme Supreme Osti wins well. Supreme Osti first, second, Sir Lotto. Third was Love Love Bale, followed by Pretty Rachel and also Pearls of Tears for Miss Manchu, Smart Liz and Hidden Knight. And another Rod Fuller selection, Ned.
Blue Light flashing, they're off and running, and Son of a Natural and Betty Jason beat them out from Valiant Linden Show, Shoney Low Bell out wide, Sleepy Sun. One going fast was Dame Bella Vesta from Prince Low Bell, Electric Royale. Magic Dust has dropped out to last, making the run around the corner the first time, and bowling along in front was Son of a Natural, two to the good of Betty Jason. Down on the rail was Valiant Linden Show, Shoney Low Bell. Dame Bella Vesta travelling three wide, followed by Electric Royale, Prince Low Bell. In behind that bunch now would be uh, Paul Sun and the last couple were Magic Dust and Sleepy Sun. Down to the judge they travel with two circuits of the course before them and Son of a Natural the leader over Betty Jason. The uh, Bell Vesta de Vell was as its third berth followed then by Valiant Linden. Shoshone Low Bell down on the rail Electric Royale from Prince Low Bell in behind them Paul Sun. Second last was Magic Dust and Sleepy Sun brought up the rear. Not a lot of pace on as they make the run down towards the 400 mark and still the leader was son of a natural allowed to dictate the terms out in front was clear over Betty Jason they were being followed then by Dame Bella Vesta in behind them Valiant Linden Shoshone Low Bell on the rail Electric Royale from Prince Low Bell Paul Sun Sleepy Sun and Magic Dust was trailing at the corner a lap and a quarter left before them and no change in the order the leader was son of a natural a length and a half to Betty Jason Dame Bella Vesta third without cover followed then by Valiant Linden Shoshone Low Bell Electric Royale, Prince Low Bell. Back in the field, 2 1, there was Paul Sun and Magic Dust and Sleepy Sun brought up the rear. At the bell, 750 left to travel, and Jenkins has a uh, son, of a, uh, son of a natural doing it nicely in front over Betty Jason and Dame Bella Vista. Third on the down on the rail was uh, Valiant Linden followed by Shoshone Low Bell on the paint. Electric Royale from Prince Low Bell. Paul Sun was third last. Sleepy Sun second last. And Magic Dust brought up the rear. 500 left to travel and Son of a Natural the leader. A half a length to Dame Bella Vesta. Betty Jason third the rail. Here's Shoshone Low Bell going out after them now. Further out still Prince Low Bell from Valiant Linden. Paul Sun, Electric Royale and Sleepy Sun. And Magic Dust was tailed off at the corner. 250 left to travel. And son of a natural, the leader, Shoshone Low Bell is out three deep. In the centre was Dame Bella Vesta, followed then by Betty Jason. Prince Low Bell now putting in its claim, but in the straight. And son of a natural was out in front, coming out it was Dame Bella Vesta. And Betty Jason, son of a natural, will win the money. It's beaten Betty Jason, third Electric Royale. Followed then by Prince Low Bell, Shoshone Low Bell, Dame Bella Vesta, Paul Sun. Valiant Linden and last home in the event was Magic Dust. Right, we'll leave Ned there, and for the running of the next at Albion Park. And they're underway, here's Terry Spargo. Blazing Pancho from the pole and Fiery 2 stepped away well. Fair Rider a little rough shortly after the break and Old Chip and Southern Trick came out quickly. Then Joy's leader LJB Dallas Shadow and Tudor Hero followed by Moville Duke and Transpreneur blued the start and is six lengths away at the tail as they make the first bend where Blazing Pancho's the leader at the end of 300 metres by two lengths to Old Chip and three quarters to Fiery Tooth on the rail. Southern Trick said fourth one back in the running lane and fair rider peels three deep to make ground Tudor hero slides up on the fence joy's leader wide behind fair rider and then dallas shadow transpreneur catches the field slides up on the fence mobile duke second last and ljb had dropped back to the rear lead time 40.6 and fair rider has dashed to the front and with 1400 left to run fair rider leads by two to blazing pancho and one to joy's leader three deep now sliding up to the death all Chip will get cover behind Joy's leader. Fiery Tooth buried on the fence. Wonder Southern Trick on the outside of uh, Tudor Hero. Then Dallas Shadow, Transpreneur Moville Duke. And LJB last as they complete a lap. They're at the 1100 metres mark and Fair Rider shows the way. 31 first quarter of the mile. Fair Rider leads by a length of a Joy's leader without cover. A length away Blazing Pancho on the inside of All Chip and then Fiery Tooth. Southern Trick one out two back on the outside of Tudor Hero, Dallas Shadow in the running lane, then Transpreneur, Mobile Duke second last, and LJB at the rear as they turn out of the straight. Fair out of the leader, 800 metres out by more than one to Joy's leader, Blazing Pancho third and corralled behind the speed. All chip fourth enjoying the run of the race and then Fiery Tooth on the fence. A length away came Southern Trick, Tudor Heroes on the rail, Mobile Duke three deep around Dallas Shadow, then Transpreneur, and still LJB 
Three is last. 32.8 the second split. It's Fair Rider on top with 500 to run. Leading by a length to Joy's leader. Blazing Pancho on the rail. All Chip leaves the sweet seat. Peels three deep. Southern Tricks four wide. Fiery Tooth off the fence in traffic. Then Tudor Hero Transpreneur. And Mobile Dukes three wide and five lengths off the lead. Fair Rider in front at the 200 metres mark. Joy's leader flat to the boards trying to get on terms. Blazing Pancho got off the rail. Fair Rider taken on by Joy's leader. Blazing Pancho comes at them. Joy's leader got to the lead. Blazing Pancho after Joy's leader. It'll be too late. Joy's leader. Joy's leader has beaten Blazing Pancho. Fair Rider third. Then Mobile Duke Fiery Tooth LJB Transpreneur Southern Trick Tutor Hero Della Shadow and all chip last of all. Right. Second semi ready to go. Racing, Jessica Casey came out brilliantly. China Trip went to second out after it early. Then Dixie Lass and Call Me Casey. On the inside then was no hostility. Further back, Win Dixie, plug for me. And back at the trail, Cruz Bale, Jessica Casey. She shot away down the back and leads six to China Trip. Going to third out wide, Dixie Lass. A couple of lengths, no hostility. Call Me Casey and then came a plug for me. On the corner, Jessica Casey's absolutely ripping away. Leads by nearly a dozen lengths. Going to second, Call Me Casey. The kettle mates get home. Jessica Casey, 10 lengths to call me Casey. Getting up for third China trip, no hostility. Dixie last plug for me. Cruise bail and win Dixie was last. A fabulous run by Jessica Casey. They win it this year. They were just about ready. And away in racing. Oriental Strike on the inside, beaten for early speed. Now Bonamax is going to have to work to get to the lead. In fact, he might be able to get across. Veronica Vance has held them early. It's got Franco Nickel on the outside, uh, easing in now for a trail as Victory Talk. Bonamax is three deep the favourite. Further back in the field then uh, would have been a Tex and Fella back on the inside of it, Pro Cheval. Now Venetian Adams out three wide, waiting to see what Bonamax is going to do. Then Rusty Wangara, Swanky Bay last to settle. Veronica Vance leads them down the straight the first time. Bonamax is going backwards. It'll look for a sit back in the pack and Veronica Vance three metres in front. Franco Nichols going to be forced to face the breeze on the outside. Oriental Strike behind them. One out and one back is Victory Talk. Three back on the inside. Pro Cheval. They are followed further back by Tex and Fella. Swanky Bay the inside. Then Rusty Wangara. Venetian Adam went back to second last. Bonamax went back to last but now he's going to take off again. They race into the back straight. A lap and three quarters from home. Missed the lead time, but the leader is Veronica Vance. She's three metres clear of Franco Nickel. Oriental Strike on the inside. Uh, then two or three metres further back in the pack. Two victory talk. Bonamax coming three wide now. Venetian Adams getting up onto its back. Pro Cheval biting its time back along the inside. Further back in the field then. Two Texan fellas, Swanky Bay. And last, Rusty Wangara. Well, he is going to be three wide virtually for the entire journey, Bonamax, because Franco Nickel kicks up. First quarter was 31. 1.6. Veronica Vance, the leader. On the outside, Franco Nickel and 3 deep Bonamax. Then on the inside, Oriental Strike in the centre. Victory Talk. Pro Cheval needs a bit of luck. Venetian Adams got a nice cart home. Then Texan Feller in the centre. Further back in the field to Swanky Bay and Rusty Wangara whips them in. They head to the back straight. Veronica Vance has travelled well in the lead. Two of her main dangers have both worked. Franco Nickel and Bonamax. Oriental Strike on the inside. Further back in the field then, uh, we had Victory Talk on the outside, Venetian Adam. Texan fella the centre. Pro Cheval's got nowhere to go. He's in real trouble finding a run. Rusty Wangara pulls wide. Ned Swanky Bay. Franco Nickel moves up to the Philly. Veronica Vance. Bonamax is running third. He's uh, still got a chance, I'd say, the favourite. Pulling out deeper on the track then would have been Venetian Adam. And they're uh, followed by Rusty Wangara right around the outside. Texan fella running through in the centre. Pro Cheval into the clear. On the turn. Bonamax comes at them now. Remember this, folks. He's been three wide throughout and he's going to them. Bonamax goes up, draws level with Franco Nickel. Then Veronica Vance, Rusty Wangara, Texan fella running on. Bonamax clear. Rusty Wangara, Texan fella grabbing him. Bonamax is hanging on. He's going to get there. That is enormous. Absolutely enormous. I haven't seen a horse win a classic three wide before. Rusty Wangara and Texan fella for the miners. Not quite sure there. Close up, Franco Nickel. A very good effort. Clear of Veronica Vance. Pro Cheval had no luck. They are followed in by Swanky Bay. Next along in the field, Victory Talk. Uh, well out of an Oriental strike. Venetian Adam last to pull up.
And that was indeed a very game win. Now, dividends available from Wentworth Park. Coogee Zephyr has claimed it over the... Computer. And missing it was St George. Coogee Zephyr won the break and uh, now hustling over quickly was Bretnick and raced straight to the front. Bretnick out by two and a half on Coogee Zephyr. Second, third, St George followed by its out turn. Four further back, Centurious from Misty Trinket. Jenny's Opera trap wide second last and three last of all was Lord Tiffany. At the top turn, Bretnick in front by two lengths on Coogee Zephyr. Second, third, St George. The outside was its out turn from Misty Trinket. They straighten up. It's Bretnick in front. Out wide, Coogee Zephyr claims it. Coogee Zephyr put its head in front. Coogee Zephyr in a photo just wins. Coogee Zephyr first over Bretnick flying home. Misty Trinket followed by St George as they jam up going into the catching pen from Lord Tiffany Centurious Jenny Zopra who was back at the rear of the field. Photo finish after race seven. Racing, Rhode Island Red off the second row, dipped, almost fell. It's out the back and galloping, Rhode Island Red. It'll take no part at all in the race, whereas going away very quickly is one to gold. All show sewing speed is past tense, and Tuatron makes a line of three. Eiffel in races wide, followed by 410, then full deck and Soaky Song. Settling down six metres away, Riverly Chance, second last of the main pack. Hillary Globe is back of the tail, and Rhode Island Red has been pulled up out of the race, taking no part at all in the straight they race and on the outside the filly Wonder Gold is looking for the lead and gets there travelling down the straight at the 1800 past tense takes the trail now second leaving Tuatron third without cover four metres away 410 he gets to fifth on the outside and one out followed by full deck on the rail four metres away Eiffel in followed by Riverly Chance second last is Hillary Globe last on the outside is Soaky Song some 25 metres off the lead and Rhode Island Red dipped shortly after the start almost fell and has been pulled up out of the event out of the straight they race at the 1600 in front the filly Wonder Gold by five metres to pass tense having a nice run behind the leader Ahead away on the outside is Tuatron without cover. 410 gets to fourth on the outside. On its inside is full deck, followed by Eiffel in. Then Riverly Chance on the rail. Second last is Soaky Song and a metre back on the rail. And last is Hillary Globe. Coming off the top turn towards the 1,250 metres they race in the lead time, 58.1. Wonder Gold, she's in front by four metres. Tuatron sits up on the outside of past tenses, pulling double the leaders back. 410 has the run of the race on the outside, followed by full deck, two metres to Eiffel in. Second last is Soaky Song, third last is Riverly Chance, and Hillary Globe is back of the tail. Travelling down the straight, a thousand to go, first quarter in 31.9, and the filly Wonder Gold. She's over three and a half metres clear. From the outset, Tuatron has worked on the outside. A metre third is past tense, followed by 410, then full deck on the rail. Eiffel in always three back on the outside, followed by Riverly Chance. Soaky Song is second. Second last and still last the fence is Hillary Globe and Rhode Island Red pulled up early. Out of the straight they race inside the 700. Second quarter in 33. So she's been given a breather. Wonder Gold. She's still two and a half metres clear of Tuatron on the outside who's been there from the outset. A metre third past ten still needing a run followed by 410. From second last now Soaky Song pulls to the outside around Eiffel in. Full deck on the rail followed by Riverly Chance and last and one off the fence is Hillary Globe. Before the turn 400 metres out. It's still Wonder Globe in front. Almost three metres to on the outside. Tuatron. Still no run for past tense. Pull to the outside now. 410. Then Eiffel in. Followed by Soaky Song. In behind them. Full deck. Riverly Chance and Hillary Globe. Around the turn inside the 200 metres. Third quarter. 30.4. Wonder Gold in flood. She's flat by a metre. 410 on the outside. Ranged up to tackle her. Tuatron gone. Past tense is now getting a run in the centre. And Soaky Song is late on the outside. Finishing quickly. 410 in front. Soaky Song draws to it on the outside. They hit it locked together. 4-10 and Soaky Song in a photo. Wonder Gold is close up. Then past tense followed by Eiffel in. Full deck in behind them followed by Hillary Globe. Knocking up in the race was Tuatron. Last in was Riverly Chance and the other one Rhode Island Red was pulled up shortly after the start. On the fifth Terrelgan Trophy final to separate 410 and also Soaky Song. 410 had the run of the race. Soaky Song was getting to it on the outside. Past tense going to split in the straight, but didn't go on over the last little bit. And the judges call for the photo to separate this pair 410 and also Soaky Song. Bound before the line, 410 was there, but Soaky Song was going to it on the outside, and the pair have gone to the line together with uh, certainly Soaky Song finishing. A little bit better than uh, 410 and Wonder Gold just in behind them. Now after the photo, 10 first, Soaky Song, Gata Policino, number 10. 
Second 11, 4, 10, Tony Mellier. And the third number goes to five, Wonder Gold, Kerry Clark. So 10, 11, 5 on the fifth. 10, 11, 5, 4. Fullest Pier came out pretty well off the middle. Lysini Princess drove through to join it behind them. Was Lively Monarch and Elastic Rebel on the outside. Lively Monarch's got the rails run. Lively Monarch went through and joined Tallest Pier at the first corner. Out by three, Royal Standard over on the outside. Lysini Princess and Liberator. Further back behind them, Elastic Rebel, Silver Ball, Lad and Bold Gamble. Getting to the lead, Tallest Pier. Lively Monarch coming again. Then then two lengths, Iceni Princess and Royal Standard. Lively Monarch on the outside, dash to the lead, and Lively Monarch's too good. Lively Monarch wins from Iceni Princess, who goes to second. Tallest peer or elastic rebel for the miners. Behind those, Royal Standard, Liberator, and Bold Gamble, one of the last with Silver Ball Lad. 625, the numbers there at Wentworth Park, and the mobiles on the track at Maitland for race six. Let's update the totes there. Gale's Jet. Towards the starting point, the blue light flashing, a good even start to and to find an early leader. Racing out wide, Ken Sim was going hard to take over the role of pacemaker from Stanley Meadow. Irresistible me, Gale's Jet, Stacey Ann. Going between uh, runners there, over on the outside of it was... Uh, Star City, Shoshone Gold was second last and Blue Caesar last. Down the back they travel and the leader was Ken Sim by a length and a half over Stanley Meadow. Irresistible Me third without cover, followed then by Gales Jet. And behind those now would be uh, one there would be Stacey Ann, followed by Shoshone Gold, Star City and Blue Caesar last of all. Joyce is trying to uh, slow them up in front as they leave the back and make the run to the corner where Ken Sim was in charge three parts of a length to Irresistible Me. Third, the rail was uh, Stanley Meadow. Stacey Ann tacking on behind Irresistible Me on the paint now was Gales Jet in advance of Star City, Shoshone Gold. And still Blue Caesar bought up the rear. They cast a home turn and stern and make the run down to the judge where they'll still have two circuits of the course before them and the pace was fairly solid where the leader in the event was Ken Sim over Irresistible Me, Stanley Meadow next followed then by Stacey Ann Gales Jet Star City, Shoshone Gold and Blue Caesar. Over towards the 600 they travel and no change in the order, Ken Sim showed the way a neck to the good of Irresistible Me Stanley Meadow boxed in on the rail with nowhere to go on its outside Stacey Ann Gales Jet and Star City together from Shoshone Gold and Blue Caesar was last of all in this order, they travel the back and make the run down towards the corner where they'll have a lap and a quarter before them. And with the inside running, Ken Simonera, leader over Irresistible Me, Stanley Meadow and Stacey Ann together. Gail Jet was down on the inside of Star City, second last show, Shoney Gold. And Blue Caesar bought up the rear, a lap and a quarter from home. In the Peter Joyce pace and Ken Sim hard held is the narrow leader over Irresistible Me, Stacey Ann, Stanley Meadow, Gail Jet and Star City. Second last show, Shoney Gold and Blue Blue Caesar bought up the rear. They make the run down to the judge. The bell coming up at 750 out. And Ken Sim giving a good account of itself out in front was three parts of a length of Irresistible Me. Stanley Meadow with nowhere to go, followed by Stacey Ed Gales, Jet Star City. Shoshone Gold and Blue Caesar, 600 to travel. And Ken Sim has kicked the length to Stanley Meadow and Irresistible Me. Then over on the rail was Gales Jet, followed then by Stacey Ed Star City, Shoshone Gold and Blue Caesar. They make the run down towards the 400 peg and still the leader was Ken Sim over Stanley Meadow. Unwinding a run now around them. Stacey Ann Irresistible Me has gone. Next was Gales Jet from Star City. Blue Caesar and Shoshone Gold at the corner. 350 out and Ken Sim in charge. Now Gas pulls Stanley Meadow out to make a run. They were followed by Stacey Ann. Gales Jet coming home along the rail but around the corner and Ken Sim set sail for the run of the judge. Clear over Stanley Meadow. Gales Jet looming up along the rail. Joyce getting everything out of Ken Sim and I don't think they'll pick him up. Ken Sim won the money. Gales Jet second. Stanley Meadow third from Blue Caesar. Stacey Ann. Next to go down would be Star City. Show Shoney Gold and Irresistible Me last in. Well, get them official. Placings there. Five, one and two at Maitland Race 6. Now an update for Albion Park. This is race six. The number. Lights on. Arms fold. Racing. Aces to spare. Sovereign Land and Mr. Jail came out of the machine very quickly. Miss Jewel began well from Lord Carrington. Then Looney Foot and Sterling Vance going up on the rail. Sovereign Venture quickly away from the second line. Followed by Vance Rain and further back was Victor's Toy. Making time second. Last and crowned the victor. It dropped back to the rear. Mr. J led at the end of 350, but Ace 
races to spare once the front and now rolls into the van past the tea trees the first time. Sovereign Lad moves up on the outside. He's going up to have a crack for the lead. The driver of Aces to spare quite content to hand up and Sovereign Lad takes over. The first 500 left behind them in 36.1. Sovereign Lad leads by a length and a half. Miss Jewel now rolls up to second. Aces to spare third behind the leader. Lord Carrington fourth. One out, one back around MRJ and Looney Foot three back in the running lane. Sterling Vance on the rail. A length away came Sovereign Venture. On the outside of Victor's Toy, followed by Vance Rain. Making time second last and crown the victor last as they run around the 1,200 metres turn. Looney Foot making a move. Out three deep, Sovereign Lad in front. 32.4, first split of the mile. Sovereign Lad by a length to Looney Foot, who now strides up to the will of the leader. Aces to spare third. Miss Jewel fourth, about to get cover from Looney Foot. MRJ shuffle back on the fence. Lord Carrington three back in the running lane. Vance Rain three wide around Sovereign Venture. Sterling Vance on the fence. Then making time Victor's toy and crown the victor last with 800 to travel. Sovereign Lad by more than a length to Looney Foot and a neck to Aces to spare on the rail. Miss Jewel fourth around MRJ, followed by Vance Rain three deep. Lord Carrington in the centre, Sterling Vance on the fence, then Sovereign Venture, making time crown the victor, and ahead to Victor's Toy. 30.7 seconds split. Miss Jewel's left the running lane as Sovereign Lad takes them to the 450. By two to Miss Jewel, rushing up to second. Aces to spare third. Looney Foot gone. Lord Carrington working into the clear. MRJ on the fence and then Vance Rain, Sovereign Venture and Sterling Vance. Sovereign Lad in front at the 220. Miss Jewel gets to second. Lord Carrington three deep and then aces to spare. Sovereign Lad in front as they turn the bend. Lord Carrington and Miss Jewel are under the whip. Retchless goes for Sovereign Lad. Miss Jewel and Lord Carrington are trying to reach him but Sovereign Lad's clinging on and Sovereign Lad wins. Sovereign Lad beat Miss Jewel. Lord Carrington third. Then Emma... Well, we'll leave Terry there. We'll be back with more racing action very shortly. Ready? They're racing all. Coming up with the lids there was Sky Pet Bell. Winning the break was Piper's Revenge. Raced a length and a half in front from National Jane second. About three away third was Carnaby Street, followed by Whitewash Miss. And on the outside was Murray's Common. Two further back to Sky Pet Bell. Second last city rival. And last of all was Alison Ashley. Down the back, Piper's Revenge is three lengths in front. Carnaby Street working home well. Third was National Jane, followed by Whitewash Miss. Behind those came Sky Pet Bell, who's closing. Three further back, Murray's Common, followed by city rival. Did home turn Piper's Revenge in front moving around at National Jane flying home was Sky Pet Bell National Jane hit the front National Jane National Jane wins over second whitewash miss Sky Pet Bell a certainty beaten third followed next by City Rival and also Alison Ashley from Carnaby Street and Murray's Comet placings there seven four and eight next race at Globe Derby due in four minutes let's update the total now they're set 22 30 start Racing, very good start. Angel Wings kicks up on the inside. Arpen Lee showing speed out in the centre. Easing out of a top mast. Uh, from out wide, there's one going forward. Uh, it's Lord Muck, also a bit deep. Happy Thoughts. Comical kicks up behind the leader, which is going to be Angel Wings. Further back in the field then. Uh, back along the inside, first trick dropping to the rails. Going around them quickly, there's Satin Silks on tacking onto the main group. Then Captain Whitefoot and Desert Orchid tails out. Angel Wings leads them up as they come into the straight the first time. Led by four metres, around them three deep has gone Lord Muck. Comical behind the leader. Happy Thoughts is still out three wide and going on with it. Arpen Lee in the centre. Then on the inside, first tricks. The outside top mast. Another four metres to Water Trotter. They've gone 47-3 the lead time. Satin Silks outside of Captain Whitefoot and about to tack on Desert Orchid, so it's made good ground. Angel Wings takes them towards the back straight, leading by two or three metres. In second placing, Lord Muck, comical on the inside. Happy Thoughts has been three deep from the outset. They are followed then by Arpen Lee in the centre. Top mast next on the outside. The rail's first tricks. No move at this point from Water Trotter. Four metres then to Satin Silks. Captain Whitefoot on the rails. And five or six metres last, Desert Orchid. Off the back under a lap and a half to run. Still Angel Wings.
Springs is the leader. Lord Muck hasn't had the easiest of runs, but it's moving up on terms again with Angel Wings. Comical Lee inside, Arp and Lee's had a pretty good run. Still out three wide, then Happy Thoughts. First tricks on the inside of Top Mass. First quarter, 30.8. They are followed then by Water Trotter. It's still back on the outside of Captain Whitefoot. And then further back, Satin Silks and Desert Orchid. They've got a lap to run. Angel Wings on top by two metres. In second placing on the outside, Lord Mucker. Driver now, we're starting to...